Jerusalem, son of Dior, asked a very high price. When kings and men of power would ask him for advice, they thought he had great power, he could curse and he could bless. But he was just an evil man who traded on distress. And even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan. Now Balak King of Moab was in a dreadful state. Cause Moses' mighty army was right outside his gate. He feared that Moses' people would take his place and land. And his army was not strong enough, but he had something planned. He sent princes to see Balaam, they took a heavy purse. He asked Balaam to crush Moses' army with a curse. Now Balaam, son of Beor, he wanted Balak's gold. But God said, no cursing, say only what you're told. And even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan. God said, this people Balak fears who are camped outside his land Are people I have blessed and I hold them in my hand As King Balak has summoned you, to him you may go But do only what I tell you, not what you think you know Balaam got excited at the thought of Balak's loot and he saddled up his donkey and put on his business suit. But as he rode to Moab, God was getting cross. But Balaam wanted his own way and thought he was the boss. And even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan. God sent an angel, and in his hand a sword To stand across the roadway, a barrier from the Lord But Balaam he saw nothing, while the donkey saw it all So she first walked off the roadway, and then slumped into a wall Balaam's foot was crushed, and with the donkey he got mad so he gave the donkey the biggest ever beating that she'd had. The donkey shouted, Balaam, why beat me, Eeyore? As a donkey have I ever let you down like this before? And even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan. Then Balaam's eyes were opened, and he saw the angel there. And he bowed down low, frightened, in awe and in despair. You should thank this donkey for stopping, the angel said. For if she had not seen me, then I would have had your head. Said the angel, go to Balak, but speak only what I say. So Balaam said to Balak, no cursing here today. God blesses Moses' people, they are his and he is Lord. They're under the protection of his terrible swift sword. And even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan. Balak was so angry that he sent Balaam away With nothing in his pockets, and Balaam didn't stay And Moses and his army were safe from Balak's plans For God held all of Israel in his mighty hand 
Now the moral of our story, listen carefully if you can, is God can even use a simple donkey in his plan. And a donkey sees more clearly and brays a truer word than an evil worldly prophet unless he heeds the Lord. Cause even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan. Yes, even a simple donkey sees more clearly than an evil man. And God can use anything and anyone to achieve his amazing plan.